everybody, and welcome to NBA Players in the Community. I'm Lisa Johnson-Smith, and we're here in Denver at the J. Churchill Owen Boys and Girls Club for the dedication of a brand new reading and learning center. It's all a part of the NBA Legacy Project, just one of the many community events going on this All-Star Weekend. Later on in the show, we're going to talk to some players who are here to help out today. But first, we begin with a look at five-time All-Star Ray Allen of the Sonics. He dedicates so much of his time to the community, and recently we caught up with him reaching out out in Seattle. All-Star Weekend is all about showcasing the best the NBA has to offer, but it's also an opportunity for the WNBA to get in on the action, and I'm joined now by Ruth Briley of the Detroit Shack. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell me about what you've been doing this weekend. Uh, I've been pretty busy. i um, been able to do some Read to Achieve events with the kids, a junior WNBA and NBA, and a lot of fitness and active clinics as well. How does it feel to give back to the community? It's great to be a part of this weekend. You know, the, um, the kids look up to us so much from what we do on the court, and so we're able through the, the NBA All-Star Weekend to, to give back to them. Well, let's check out another big event that happened in Denver this weekend. It was the WNBA All-Star Fitness Day. Well, if it happens in Denver, this man definitely knows about it, Marcus Camby of the Nuggets. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on recently receiving the NBA Community Assist Award. Oh, thanks, thanks. It's a great honor. I really appreciate it. Now, you have so much going on in, here, in town this weekend. <laughs> Tell me about Marcus's mentors. Um, it's a program that I got started. I have um, five to six um, high school juniors that comes in every Wednesday afternoon to two to four, fourth and fifth grade um, students at this elementary school that I adopted. So it's a great afternoon program, and the kids who um, complete the program get money towards the college scholarship. Oh, so that's, great. that's you know the great part about it, that they get to help out kids also, but also they know when they're done finishing you know, high school, they have some money towards the following their degree. So I'm really excited about that. And you're also involved in the Junior MBA Clinic, right? Yes, I'm involved with that. Um, you know, I like to reach out to the little kids and and make sure that they um, participate in basketball and things like that. I just try to give them a lot of inspiration, let them know that, hey, I was once you guys' size, believe it or not, when I was a little kid, you guys' age, you know, you know I was able to, you know, live out my dreams and become a professional basketball player. So um, just let them know, just give them inspiration and give them a lot of hope. All right, well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And here's a look at another special clinic held during All-Star Weekend in Denver. Welcome back to NBA Players in the Community. You know, the All-Star Slam Dunk Competition is one of the most exciting events of the weekend. But besides thrilling the crowd, it also helped out in the community because each dunker competed for a charity in his local city. And we hung out with some of the kids of those charities who had a courtside seat at All-Star Saturday night. Okay, Ray, you're pretty smooth on the court, but I think you need to leave the singing to the professionals. But speaking of smooth, we're joined now by Dwayne Wade, All-Star star of the Miami Heat. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. This Boys and Girls Club is, it looks fabulous. Um, how does it feel being here today, giving back to the community? Um, it, it feels great. I mean, anytime that you can give back to the community, um, especially myself growing up, I'm um, going to the Boys and Girls Club when I was young. Love to see people come back and, um, and talk and just be around. So it is great to be, to be here as an all-star and, and give back to the community. Yeah, how important is that to you? I mean, obviously you said it was, had an effect on you growing mm -hmm. up too. How, did, how important is it for you to make sure you do that? It is very important. Um, I mean, I, mean I, I used to wish that people come and talk to me all the time. It's like, man, you know, some people are so lucky. Um, but just coming in and having an opportunity to put smiles on people's faces, but also, you know, let them know that it's more than just basketball um, that, that goes on with, within life. Now, Shaquille O'Neal has obviously been a huge influence um, in the community ever since he got in the NBA, and as well as since he's been in Miami. Any influence on you and, or the other players in giving back to the community because he does so much? Yeah, um, he does. He had me up this morning at 7. Really? Um, yeah, we was up early, um, and we was doing something for Nestle Crunch with the kids. But that, that's what Shaq do. He was out there um, very energetic at 7 in the morning. And that's just giving back to the kids. Kids love to see him. And, you know, we just all try to take that same approach. I mean, he's our leader on and off the floor and we just try to follow the things that they do. All right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, sweetie. Well, now we're going to take a look at how the NBA reached out to a couple of elementary schools in Denver with the Read to Achieve Caravan. Well, that about does it for our show today. I want to say a special thanks to Dwayne Wade, Emeka Okafor, Marcus Camby, and Ruth Riley for helping us out. And thank you for joining us on NBA Players in the Community. Uh, uh, everybody put your head in.